Well, after a successful launch to orbit, the first mission to put an American spacecraft on the moon's surface in decades may now be in jeopardy. Yeah, the company behind the Peregrine Lander says it experienced an anomaly and that mm. could snag could prevent it from reaching the moon. Yeah, Xavier Walton joins us live with more on this setback. So, Xavier, what is this anomaly crews are talking about and worried about here? Well, Marky, this was, uh, you know what, really a major setback. And when you talk about the, the hope and the optimism just 24 hours ago, it was there, but that quickly went away as this spacecraft got further and further away from the Earth. And since then, Astrobotic, this is that space company uh, charged with building that lunar lander over the years. Um, now they're just posting constant updates on social media. Let's get to the very latest one. And in that one, um, it really does discuss what all uh, went wrong with Peregrine after the landing. Now, discussing that major setback, um, the ongoing propellant leak impacting the spacecraft's thrusters. So that's the only thing keeping, you know, Peregrine from going into an uncontrollable tumble. So they're running out of that propellant, that fuel. Astrobotic only giving thrusters about 40 hours. That post on social media was uh, about nine hours ago. So now it only has if you're doing the math, roughly 30 hours left of a shelf life before running out of fuel and subsequently losing power altogether well before reaching the moon. Keep in mind, this is a 46 day journey. Astrobotic also posting a picture, um, calling it a clue and partially explaining the setback when the spacecraft, you know, suffered critical fuel loss, threatening its ability to even land on the moon's surface. It may not even get there. NASA responding, saying, quote, each success and setback are opportunities to learn and grow. We will use this lesson to propel our efforts to advance science, exploration, and commercial development of the moon. And that right there, that is the ultimate goal, not just getting to the moon, but setting up shop and then going further into the cosmos, more specifically, you know, going into Mars. To do that, NASA is utilizing several private American space companies. That's where Astrobotic came into the equation. This was the first of several payload missions to the moon for NASA by private companies to deliver science and technology to the lunar surface, along with carrying out numerous experiments. All of this, you know, in preparation for human missions and NASA's Artemis program. If they get data from Peregrine, we'll see how much it is. It's probably not gonna be what NASA expected, which means everybody will go back to the drawing board, but, but that's why NASA uses multiple contractors to do these things, right? And you know, NASA is expected to make a, an announcement later today about Artemis, that mission sending humans to the moon. That second launch was supposed to be at the end of this year. Um, rumors have it that it's gonna be delayed, but we're gonna have to wait and see um, how all of this is tied together and what actually happens with that as well. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.